everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the latest release from Kayali. It is her new wedding fragrances. They're simply called Kayali the Wedding. And we have Silk Santal for her and Velvet Santal. So like all her fragrances, they are unisex, gender neutral, but inspired by her wedding last year. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. I do have hundreds of other videos just like this on new releases, whole ranges. I have reviewed all the other Kayali fragrances, so I'll leave those links down below, along with where you can get these perfumes all around the world. And I also have an article that just goes through every single one of the Kayali fragrances, so you can check that out too. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure that you are subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And don't forget that my new perfume Aphrodite is out in literally a couple of weeks. You can order samples online, travel sprays, and of course the full size 50 mil. So the Kayoli kindly sent me these in such a gorgeous like presentation box. Presentation says you're invited to experience the wedding collection. We have these great photo shoots of Mona and Hassan. Mona, of course, is the brains and CEO behind Kayoli Fragrances, and she's the sister of Huda, Huda Beauty. And the two fragrances are both Santal, so that means sandalwood. And it says the design is an ode to everlasting love. Mona and Hassan created the wedding collection to wear on their special day, aptly named after the silk gown Mona wore and the velvet suit Hassan wore. Oh, I love the idea of a velvet suit. So they're called Silk Santal and Velvet Santal, and inspired and bound by the strength of creamy sandalwood, also known as Santal. This hero note grounds each scent while also glorifying the unique blend of decadent ingredients found in each bottle. So they do have quite different ingredients beyond the main note of Santal. So let's give them a try. So I'll start off with the white one. This is an Eau de Parfum Intense. I think this comes just in the 50 mil and you can also get a 10 mil travel spray I think as well. It's got this kind of frosted glass which I don't think we've seen before and then these pearls coming down and then the liquid is very orange as you can see. So let's give Silk Santal a try and before I do that actually they're all all her perfumes have a number after them so this this is Silk Suntile 36, and that's how many different iterations they went through before like settling on the right scent. Mmm, so it's quite sweet actually, sweeter than I expected. It's very Kayali, it definitely fits in with her other fragrances. So it has a champagne top note, which gives the fragrance a sparkling feminine feel, definitely. And then you've also got nectarine, so I definitely do get some fruitiness, but I also get quite a lot of sweetness. So it says here that it has lush nectarine, pink praline and sugared musk, and white freesia. So I definitely get a sugar sugary, peachy champagne. And as it's developing, I am starting to get more of that warm sandalwood. So it's not like a super light or super fruity fragrance like her Juicy Apple, which is very fruity and sweet. It's like a mixture of that sort of nectarine sweetness, but then with a little bit more depth underneath. It feels pretty strong. It feels like a lot of her fragrances are good for lasting. I definitely like it. I think it is usually wedding type perfumes don't tend to be that sweet. They tend to be more floral. I do actually quite like that this has more sweetness to it because I think that fits in with the rest of her fragrances and sometimes it can be a bit predictable and boring like a wedding fragrance just smelling of a bouquet of flowers. Um, so it definitely fits in with her and like the brand. I feel like this is actually what she smells like. I've met her a couple of times and I, she was, I wonder if she was actually wearing this because I feel like this is what she smells like. So I definitely like this. I would wear this. It's pretty. I like the sweetness. I like the strength and definitely could be worn throughout the year. I think because it is an Eau de Parfum Intense, I can definitely see people wearing this in the winter time um, as well as in the summer. You could definitely wear this in the evening. I think it is quite sexy. And um, one thing to say is that these are limited edition. So I don't think these are going to be around forever. And I think they are stocking these at Harrods. But yeah, I'll find the links where they are and leave them down below. Okay, so that's the first one, the Wedding Silk Santal. I definitely like that. It's not exactly what I expected. I thought it was gonna be quite light. It's not, it's got much more body and depth and I'm enjoying that sweetness. Okay, so next we have the Wedding Velvet Santal. Oh, and I love that it has a velvet around the edge of the box. 
really loving this. So this one is all black bottle, but it does have these lines coming down and um, kind of like the silk scent out. Okay, so let's give it a go. So this definitely feels more masculine, heavier. I immediately get the creaminess of the sandalwood. I feel like there's a slight leatheriness to it. Hmm, it doesn't have that in the ingredients. I do love that they have the ingredients on the back of Kaoli fragrances. It says it has cedarwood, benzoin, and sandalwood. It's probably the benzoin that's creating that slightly leathery, ambery undertone, which, even though I think this for sure is unisex, this is definitely one for people that like more ambery fragrances, like one of the original Kaioli fragrances was Invite Only Amber. And it's almost feeling a little bit oody. I think that must be the cedar wood that's coming through. Other things it says it are in here, jasmine petals, tea leaves. I don't really get them. For me, this is definitely a sweet, woody sandalwood fragrance. It definitely isn't only for men. If you like woody amber perfumes, this is definitely genderless. Again, it feels pretty strong. It says again that it's an eau de parfum intense on the bottle. And this is kind of what I expected from a sandalwood male sort of branded fragrance. I can definitely get some of her sort of signature, slightly Middle Eastern undertones that were in a lot of her original fragrances in this as well. So definitely, like overall, I think they're both Soki approved. I definitely personally would wear the Kayali one. I think the, the male one is feels a little bit oody, so I probably wouldn't get Stephen to wear this because I like slightly fresher ones that are slightly too ambery, I think, for the type of ones that Stephen tends to wear. This one I would definitely where I think that's really nice. I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a permanent edition rather than limited edition because I think people will really love this. So yes, they come in the 10, little baby 10 mils as well as the 50 mils. Retail for 50 mils is US $100, 96 euros, 83 pounds. 10 mils, $27, 25 pounds, 30 euros. And it says they're available from June 29th, so they're out now. Yeah, so let me know if you've managed to try these. Yeah, I guess they'll be available to try and um, where Huda Beauty products are stocked. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they're available at Harrods. So if you're lucky enough to live in London like me, then uh, you can probably try them there. But yeah, let me know what you think. Have you ordered these? Let me know what your favorite Kaoli fragrance is. And like I said, links will be in the description to where you can buy these and to my other Kaoli videos. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh,